adorable adoptable pets on Pets on Parade with our friend Mankey. And Ski, Mankey was a little shy when he first arrived, but is learning to enjoy his new surroundings while he searches for his happily ever after. Yes, Mankey is very shy. He was actually abandoned outside of a shelter. And so when we brought him in to the Humane Society, uh, volunteers and the behavior team were able to assess him to see what his needs would be. Now that he's been there in a safe place, has had a few meals and a soft place to sleep and has a bathroom, he is warming up to volunteers and to other people. He is coming up to the front of his kennel. He wants some attention from them. So really, it just goes to show you that any kind of, any animal can just adapt so well after a bad situation. Now, he is a beautiful tuxedo. He's a little on the heavier side. So if you're looking for a heavy lap cat, this is going to be your guy. He's got a quiet and calm demeanor. And actually, 50% of the cats on our adoption floor right now are formally dressed and waiting to go home. Most of the cats on the adoption floor are black and white cats. So you can get one like with a spotted nose like him or maybe wearing a tie. But if you are looking for that cute little black and white cat, you have a large selection on the adoption floor at both campuses. So come on down and find your forever cat today. Thanks to PetMart, PetSmart Charities, both of our public veterinary clinics will be offering $20 spay and neuter surgeries for all Chihuahuas and Chihuahua mixes throughout the month of August. Call the number on your screen and mention Charity Sure Chihuahua when you call to make your appointment. And sometimes, even though our hearts want nothing more a dog of our own, it isn't viable in our current situations, as was the case with, case with Bina Perry, whose previous owners could no longer keep this gorgeous sweetheart due to landlord issues. Right, Megan, and this was actually a case of a private rescue this doggy came from, and uh, they lost their situation to be able to have animals, and here she is with us. But they, it was very apparent that those owners of hers were very, very attached to her. They wrote a wonderful profile on her. They said about Bina, she is the sweetest dog, and as you can see right now, their exact words were, her eyes are the windows to her soul, and you can see that right now. She's really super sweet, sweet doggy. They said she's very, very well behaved. And the owners themselves were dog trainers, so she's actually very, very well uh, behaved also. The name Bina comes from the Apache for musical instrument, so she's uh, also got some great melodies to her. She's a great dog. She loves to kiss. And uh, they just said she was excellent with everybody that she ever interfaced with at the shelter. So great doggy here, Bina. She looks like a little 30-pound Rottweiler, right? She's got a little face she's got. She's a great size. Make a great dog for anybody. Come on down and check the musical instrument, Bina. Just a, line, a little mini Rottweiler mm -hmm. over there. <laughs> well, do you love cars? Then save the date for the 10th annual Charity Car Show, sponsored by Arizona Mini Owners. This annual event will be held Saturday, September 3rd, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Mesa Marketplace. Vote for your favorite car by stuffing their ballot box with money, and 100% of the proceeds will benefit AHS's homeless pets. A fun time for the whole family. Visit azhumane.org slash events to learn more. And it's finally time to learn where Indy, Martha, and Wally got their names. Lisa, tell us the story of these three adorable kittens. Well, these three kittens found themselves lost in the Walmart store down in a pipe. And he was, they were an EAMT rescue, the Walmart on Indian School. So we have one boy. That's who I have here, the orange tabby. This is Indy. Uh, this is Wally white one and Martha is the torty here so these three believe it or not had to go to one of our foster heroes because they were inside a Walmart store and had to be rescued underweight and all had kitty colds but as you can see now they're spunky and they have recovered from any colds and they've gained their weight they've all now been altered and are ready to go up for adoption and these guys had to um, recover in the hospital and so we always look for fosters if this looks like something that would be fun for you guys to anybody at home we have foster orientations if you think that you could take these guys home it would open up some kennel space for us so please look into our foster orientations so that little guys like this don't have to recover in our hospital kennels and just like the Jungle Book character he's named after, Baloo has an easygoing, lovable personality and is wise <laughs> beyond his years. Perry, tell us about this big cuddle bug. <laughs> well, EAMTs were called to a scene, Megan. And what they found was a dog that uh, was long weight bearing on its rear hind leg, or uh, right, left hind leg. And uh, took him back to Second Chance Animal Trauma Center where they did x rays and kind of realized that this, this leg was badly fractured. Most likely, this dog was hit by a car and really kind of beyond uh, repair. 
so they had to remove it. So now blue is only a three-legged blue. And I'll tell you what, I can, I'll tell you firsthand, this dog is not missing this leg. He took me for quite a run in the parking lot right now. Very strong, very powerful, <laughs> gets along very, really well. You know, we've had several dogs lately in the show and in the shelter with three legs, and it's that front leg missing, which makes it a little more difficult. Blues is the hind leg. Not a problem at all for Baloo. This is one sweet guy. He is one of those great blue-gray purple terrier mixes. He is the blue, blue. All he wants to do is lick your face all over right now. <laughs> well, stay with us for more information on how you can get involved in AHS's life-saving mission and help pups just like these 